everyone, it's Miss Savannah from Los Alamitos Rossmore Library here for the October Rhyme of the Month. Because it's spooky season, and you all know I love spooky if you've seen my videos before, I thought it would be fun to do a pumpkin bounce movement activity where we pretend our little ones are different sized pumpkins bouncing down a vine. Movement activities are really important for little ones because it helps them learn phonological awareness skills. Now, what does that mean? It means that while they get moved to the rhythm of the words that they hear, they will pick up sounds and syllables. Ultimately, this will help them down the line with reading readiness skills. So let's start our pumpkin bounce. Of course, you're gonna have your child, just like I have my little Grogu child here, on your lap, and you're going to do small bounces to start. So let's go. Here's a little pump. Again, bouncing down the vine. Roll it left, roll it right, and bounce it down the vine. So those are pretty much the words that you will use for this entire activity. You'll start out with a little pumpkin and then you will go to a medium pumpkin with exaggerated movements and then a large pumpkin with even bigger exaggerated movements. So let's go ahead and do the whole rhyme. Let's do our small bounces. Here's a little pumpkin bouncing down the vine. Roll it left, roll it right, and bounce it down the vine. Here's a medium pumpkin bouncing down the vine. Roll it left, Roll it right and bounce it down the vine. Here's a great big pumpkin bouncing down the vine. Roll it left, roll it right and bounce it down the vine. And that is the pumpkin bounce movement activity. As you can see, all we changed is the pumpkin size from little to medium to large with more exaggerated movements. And if you're really in a fun mood, you can be a really loud, boisterous voice, especially when you get to the loud one so that the kids really pick up on the movements that we will be doing. Especially with the swing in and out, that will be a fun movement they won't see coming. And if you really wanted to, while you were doing the bouncing or the swing, you could always work in some tickling to really reinforce the movement and them picking up the words that they sound or that they hear as you sound them out. Thanks for joining me again. I hope you enjoyed this October Rhyme of the Month. Have fun turning your children into different sized pumpkins and stay spooky this October season. Thanks for joining, goodbye.